Hello humans, I'm your Schiller, welcome back to some more Mega Man X6! It's time to take on Metal Shark Player Stage and then be done with all these bosses. Before I do, before I do, I would like to unequip that. I would like to equip, uh, uh, that, or whatever this is, rapid shot, yeah, it's handy. Alright, I'll be going in as the Shadow Armor, uh, which I recently unlocked. Uh, yeah, let's do it. So this is Metal Shark Player. In the previous part, I talked about the stage a lot, but I'll talk about it again in case you're just randomly watching my videos. Uh, Metal Shark Player. His stage is probably the hardest overall. Um, it is probably the longest stage overall, not counting the final stages. Oh, Rapid Shot's handy. All right. Uh, I recently unlocked the Shadow Armor. Uh, the Shadow Armor is certainly handy for this stage, hence why I'm playing as it. Also, I don't know when else I'm going to be able to play as it because for the last bouts of the game, I'll be playing as Zero. Uh, Shadow Armor gets immunity to spikes and the ability to stick to the ceiling, even though Zero can already stick to the ceiling after you defeat Blizzard Wolfang. Uh, as for the stage, it's a recycle lab of some sort, not a lab, but a recycle like factory, and I think it's actually a cool concept, and I do like the music. Uh, in Mario Kart Wii, I have hacked my game so I can play custom music, and this song uh, was my song at one point for Toad's Factory. That would later be replaced, but it was my song for quite a while. So I do like the song, I do like the stage, but it's difficult. It's fair difficult, don't get me wrong, but it's more difficult from the other stages. Now you're probably wondering, well it's just a thing coming down from the ceiling, how is that difficult? Well there's the obvious stuff like if you're standing up it'll crush you and so on and so forth, but later Later, you'll see just how complicated things can get with such a simple idea. And as such, I strongly advise that you have the shadow armor because there are plenty of spikes coming up. Oh. Uh, as for these little brown blocks, you can destroy these uh, with different uh, power. Or you need to destroy them with the power you got from ground scare. Oh, okay. I guess that's one downside side of the shadow armor. Is that's really strong and. Or the downside isn't that it's really strong, but it's so strong that they had to give it a downside. And that's that you can't use any of your other powers. Uh, in order to destroy those blocks, the only way you can destroy them is if you're X in any other armor, or you're zero, and you use the, the weapon you got from Ground Scarabic stage. Alright, so you know what? that's one downside of, downside of the Shadow Armor. The Shadow Armor is really good, but you can't use any abilities you got from any other stage. So I guess it kind of evens out. But it's, it, again, it's really good. Uh, I don't use it that often. This is probably the only part in the walkthrough where I am going to use it. But there are other uses, and if you're watching this walkthrough, then I'll point out uh, when those uses are. If you are watching this walkthrough, by the way, you may recall like at the very beginning that I said, no stage has two parts unless you're going through a secret exit or unless you go to one specific stage. This stage is so long that they split it into two parts. Normally, there's only two parts whenever you're going for the th secret exit of a stage, which you usually have to find by going off the normal route. On this stage, it's so long, and Capcom had so many difficult ideas that they wanted to throw in, they split it into two. The first segment ha is this. The second segment has a moving conveyor belt floor. And it's even more difficult, I assure you of that. But with Shadow Armor, it should be okay. Alright, here we go. Dropping down here, time for part two. Alright, so yes, music's the same, but now we get a conveyor belt floor. Now, the screen doesn't automatically move like it does in the secret exit. You can go as fast or as slow as you want. But you do have to be bear in mind that you can't be too high up, and if the ground's moving below you, it will push you back and probably get you crushed by one of these things. Just an FYI. Oh, and then one thing about the Shadow Armor, which can be good or bad, you stick to everything. So if you want to stick to something that's cool, you don't have to keep pressing A, but sometimes you stick to things when you don't want to. Oh, and I guess you don't always stick to it either. Ah, eh, fair enough, I guess. Uh, those enemies there are, I believe, I call it Metals? Is that what they're called? And uh, they are invincible when they have their helmets up, unless this this ceiling thing crushes them. Uh, they're common enemies in the original Mega Man games. Uh, I'm not going to take my chances with these. I guess I'm going to have to. Okay, here we go. Interesting how the blade armor is known for its, sab its ability. The blade armor revolves around the saber sword and dashing, yet... This suit uh, looks like it dashes faster and uses the saber sword faster. Alright. There. That's that. See, look, I'm standing on spikes. 
See, normally you'd have to keep kicking against the little wall ceiling bit. But I don't have to do that, because I've got shadow armor! And this bit too, this bit's ridiculous. You think you can jump through that? Well, you can't. It's a tease. Okay. Let's keep it going. Yeah, this rapid armor is going to be handy for- or not rapid armor, rapid fire is going to be handy for these enemies. Look at that. Is that handy or what? It was certainly handy to me. Okay, here we go. More of this. Yeah, normally, normally you'd have to like keep kicking- I guess this thing's to the right if you wanted to move through, or I guess you could wait on the left side, but... See, this stage, trust me, is a lot harder. You'd have to keep kicking like that on several bits of the stage. But, because of the shadow armor, it's not so difficult. Spikes aren't too much of a threat- Let me through. Thank you. Okay, let me destroy this. Come on, I gotta uh, I'll just destroy it from this side. There we go. Okay. Destroy these. Oh, Friggin' ceiling. Alright, let's try- uh, There we go, and then you. You're gonna be a problem, aren't you? Yeah, you are. Oh, that's another thing with the stage, okay? If you get hit, your character stands up. And if you're in a really tight area and your character stands up, you will die. But you can't do anything about that because these characters keep shooting at you. Now, thankfully, I can duck and shoot instead of jumping and shooting. But these enemies can get annoying, so just be wary of that. Try not to let them hit you, and this guy's going to respawn. Yep. All right, well, whatever. There you go. He's dead now. Yeah, those guys can't get crushed by this thing, by this press thing. Oh, yeah, this part would also be extremely difficult. One false slip and you're done for here. And then you have to keep moving through. Oh, I gotta duck down here. And if there was an enemy here and it hit me, I would stand up and I would get crushed by this thing. Yeah, not fun. And as that thing's gonna get more difficult, we have a mini boss! Now granted, it's not the hardest mini boss in the world, but it's somewhat tedious because there will be these little things on the sides. And the only way you can hurt this thing is to wait for something to come down the center and you have to attack that but then your space is limited. So I strongly advise using your special move, or your giga attack, or whatever it's called. I'm not very good with the terminology in Mega Man games, and I'm about to die. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I may as well just die, huh? Woo! Okay, let's try this again. And when you respawn, well, you better be ready to fight, because you're instantly going to fight this mini-boss. Bam! No, I get it. It's hard to start you off on a moving floor, so they just start you off with the mini-boss, giving you a couple seconds to recoup. Recruit for your attack, or whatever the, whatever the proper phrase is. Anyway. So yeah, I definitely find this to be the hardest Maverick stage in the game. It's not the hardest stage in the game, though that goes to, this, to the final stages, and I'll show those in the next couple parts. But, uh, okay, let's use my Giga Attack. No! Really? I didn't destroy all of that? Alright, whatever. Let's try that again. There we go! And suddenly... And suddenly... And suddenly... Well, we warp to this random area. And you know what this door means? It means we are at the boss. Well, I mean, we have to go through this little hallway first. They always make a little hallway before you fight a boss. Oh yeah, and by the way, you can shoot from the ceilings. Just wanted to show that. Alright. Boss time! Metal Shark player, you're going down. <laughs> yeah, uh, he's pretty big. One of the bigger bosses. Uh, I don't know. Maybe he's the same size as the other bosses. He just seems bigger. Wider. I don't know. Yeah, shadow armor icon looks pretty cool. This is Metal Shark Player. Uh, I don't recall him being too difficult as a boss. But I guess if, like... I guess he could pose a threat. I don't know. <laughs> you have excellent DNA, don't you? I'd like to analyze your DNA once. You must be Metal Shark Player, right? It doesn't matter. Oh, no, he has a long name. I'll get your DNA, whatever. All right, last boss before I go on to the final stages. Yeah, so he'll jump up. You want to dash. I actually forgot what his attack attack tactics were. All right. There we go. Slowly but surely. I mean, I guess I could stick to the ceiling. Or not the ceiling. I could stick to the wall, but whatever. Slowly but surely. I guess he is one of the harder bosses. Now, this stage, just overall, is hard. Whoa. What are you doing? Ah! I don't remember you that well. I don't remember this attack. But he's almost dead. Come on. One more hit. There we go. Goodbye, Metal Shark player. Done with you. Done with all the Maverick stages. Have all the abilities. I know I could have gone to Gates Lab a long time ago, but whatever. All right, now I get your powers. Bam.
Booyah! That victory theme never gets old. It's so catchy. Such a nice little jingle. Alright, SA rank! Oh, that's gotta be the highest rank you can get, no? Metal Anchor! Uh, for... X, you'll slam toward the ground and an anchor will come out. For zero... Uh... Nah, maybe that's what it is for zero. For X, I think you shoot an anchor. I don't remember. Whatever. Anyway, that wraps up this part of Mega Man X6. I'd like to thank you all for watching. I'm gonna save real fast. That wraps up this part of Mega Man X6. I'd like to thank you all for watching. See you next time on the next part when I start taking on the final stages. Gates Lab. And yes, they are the final stages for a reason. They're difficult. Bye-bye, humans.